four notes instead of the three of the dotted quarter, and you will feel that the clave will change from a 4-4 four four to an 11-16. And same thing, they're gonna play the same thing going on, and I'm the one that's gonna change stuff. So let's do that. Uh, doom, 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 doom. this 11 this 4 becomes an 11 but if you just like think about this 11 16 inside of a 4 like as a polyrhythm everything displays itself so that's what happens at the end and again if you see the circle notes that's the one of the phrase that always displays itself so I'm just gonna show you by myself this is like It's just like notes at the same distance going on in space. So it's us that like uh, interpret them in a certain way. Like nobody told us that D, 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 it's quarter notes, right? Like we are just used to hear it like that because of hundreds of years of music history. And you know, it doesn't have to be like a backbeat kind of group. Even swing, it has the high F on two and four that gives you the perspective of a, uh, almost backbeat. Uh, so, if we only have just notes in the same distance, we can interpret them in different ways, changing subdivisions, and that's what we're going to do now. Yeah. So, I'll just change subdivision throughout the thing, and you'll hear how everything changes.
is the drummer section of the clinic. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my phrasing that I always use in my solos. And there's going to be a, another drum solo at the end on a song we will play. Just to let you know, um, I always do like really simple phrases. And a concept that I find that is one of my favorites, it's this little phrase here. It's like one. Okay. And uh, I always use, use it in 16, so it's a phrase of three, and it's always like, you know, so. And so I was studying this, and uh, the first step, I was like, okay, let's move it around the drum set. So. I was like, okay, that's cool. But then I wanted to displace it a little more. So what I did, I added a double on the kick drum sometimes. So it's going to sound something like. something like that. Then you can uh, add double on the ends, so you can even displace it more, but with different sound sources, so like... And I started doing three bullets with the kick drums, but I'm not ready to do that in front of you now, but it's an option. <laughs> uh, and, and also the last thing is like, you can add a backbeat to this, so you can actually groove, and it's something that sounds like this, so... from this album that's about to come out. They're my composition, but these two guys helped a lot, obviously. This is Raphael on bass and Jan on keys. Yeah. Yeah. 